Good afternoon and welcome to Craft World Live. It's Thursday, it's a different day for us this week uh, because we've got an extra special one. So we are launching, along with Helen, who I'll introduce you to in a moment, the brand new Simply Made Crafts Toy Box Collection. Really, really exciting. I am absolutely loving this for your Christmas crafting. Uh, there's a traditional feel to it, but you can have lots of fun because Helen has added lots of secret elements to her project projects and products. So, shall we have a look first of all at the price? In fact, no, I want to show you, not the dies, I want to show you what you can be making. Look at this little drum kit. This is just absolutely amazing. And Helen has incorporated, actually I'll let her show you that because I don't want to break anything, but she's incorporated that aperture from the camera, the view viewfinder there. I'm doing it anyway. Look. Hey, look at that. <laughs> look at this. This is beautiful. This sleigh, you've got your chocolates in there that make perfect little piece for the dinner table at Christmas maybe. I absolutely adore this. For home decor, you're going to be bringing it out year after year. We have the stocking gift bag. We also have, I love this too, I'll show you all of these again in a little while. We have the train and like I say about the secret hidden elements as well. There's lots of those going on in these too. There's nothing in that one, Helen. I'm a bit disappointed. You can open the funnel as well. And you can open the funnel as well. Look. Oh no, I've pulled, I've pulled. Oh, look, Helen's gonna have to do this for you. There's just so many hidden elements in here. These are absolutely beautiful. So this is the brand new toy box collection and the Nutcracker, of course. Love it, absolutely love it. Very much Helen, very much Simply Made Crafts with the fact that you are looking at construction pieces. Now we have lots of new elements for you today, but we also have ways for you to win some of these dies. And there's a stamp set as well. So first of all, we are giving away over 110 pounds worth of product okay that is just in this live so there was a post earlier in the week that you commented on so lots of comments on there I'll be announcing the winner of that late, later but today while you're commenting whether you're on craft world or whether you are on Facebook whilst you're commenting here you are automatically in with the chance of winning a bundle of products we'll choose three three winners from you later on so then we also have an amazing deal for you over on craft stash where you'll find these products at amazing prices anyway when you are ordering selected products and that's to be honest it's most of the toy box collection at checkout you'll get a little pop-up box come up and it will be pop up something about promotional offer if you click on that you will have a free stamp set added to your order I think it's worth $7.99 so that's amazing so make sure you have a look for that when you're at checkout don't miss that at all we have a couple of other items for you to show you today but let's delve in straight away let's go down while we're having a look at the product I'll read out some names of those of you who are watching as well so the first one we're going to look at is this sleigh now I showed you the sleigh earlier you can definitely see it better on here look how beautiful this is so it's three-dimensional do you know what, actually Helen you could use that couldn't you as a flat piece on a card if you didn't want to build it up Yep, so I will show you Helen. She's not just going to be a voice for this hour. She is there. We just obviously can't be here together at the moment. But you've got lots and lots of different dies in here. You've got the elements to make the secret drawer underneath, which I love. I think you're making this one, aren't you, Helen? I am, yes. Brilliant. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see how it all goes together. So you've got everything you need in there. So they that is the Sleigh Bells ring die there. So um, very quickly, hello to Chloe Snelling. Hello to um, Jill Fletcher, to Fiona Sissons, to Rena Hurst. Uh, to Diane Ward, we've got Madeline Monroe, Rose O'Connell, Evelyn Hunt. Thank you so much. Please do let us know where you are watching from. Are you on Craft World? Are you on Facebook? And where in the world you're watching from as well? So we now have this fantastic stamp set here. This, these are Helen's work, what we call working samples. These are what she's been using. You may have caught her recently on the TV with them as well. Uh, but this is the special show just for you at Craft World. So we have got here, Happy Christmas, Make-A-Wish, Santa Express, Express, sorry, excuse my tongue, The Magic of Christmas with Love. All of these sentiments you're going to be using all year round over and over again. And what Helen's cleverly done is bought in the dies. Now you may recognise these dies and these labels. These are from, did you say your first ever collection? My first ever collection. The first ever collection that Helen did. They are bundled together with these stamps on the website because then you can be mixing them if you want to. So you can see there how those sentiments fit absolutely perfectly within the brand, the, sorry, the brand new sentiments fit perfectly within the frames there. So really a perfect bundle there for you. Then we have the toy box tags. So we have a lot of the images that we're going to see as large pieces, which you can see laying around me. We have as the smaller tags there. I'm sure Helen will talk to you more about those. So the largest die in here is 7.8 centimetres. So you can imagine the sort of size they are. 
Then we have the hang your stocking die set. So that's this one. So now Helen doesn't all, doesn't give us just an image, does she? She never gives us a flat image. She gives us hidden little pieces. This one is your gift bag. Okay, so you've got your little hidden compartment in there that tucks away. But you can hang that on a tree with little gifts inside if you wanted to. Again, you could be gifting these on the table at Christmas. That, that could be home decor also. You know, it could be maybe it could be part of a large, really large advent calendar maybe and have different things in each one. So again, you've got lots of different options for this so you've got your base she gives you everything you need to put this together and then you've got lots of additional extras to decorate with so really really beautiful and I love Helen how easily your die sets come together so we see the front we think okay there's lots of panels in there but they just work so simply don't they, they do. so then the all aboard now this is the one that looking from the front you'll have no idea what it does and it's magical okay I showed you this earlier how cute is this? This is the little train, okay? The train has, has things inside at the moment. So the train has elements that lift up at secret compartments. I showed you this one again earlier. And then you say the funnel as well. Look at that. So you can pop something in there as well. They'd be your mints afterwards, wouldn't you? After you've eaten the chocolate, you need your mints. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Everything you need to create these trains in this die set. So that's the all aboard die set there for you on my drum now this is amazing i adore this set look at this this is just what she does so well i don't know helen how you visualize these from something flat you know i think it's absolutely amazing this is so beautiful and then there's the one here that helen has put that viewfinder in as well so you can have a little sneaky peek inside using that one from the camera uh, the aperture from the camera from a previous collection the snapshot collection was that what it was called and maybe um it was re-released as a snapshot. Thank you. There we go. This is so, the third time it's had its outing. Oh, wow. <laughs> so a very, very popular die set there. But as you can see, this is the focus. This is the On My Drum today. But you can absolutely add in other dies as well from Helen's collection. And then the last die set that we're going to be looking at is the Captain Christmas die set. And this is him. He's so handsome, isn't he? Absolutely fantastic. Now, again, we're going to lift that up. You've got your hidden compartment inside. Everything's done for you. Decorated front and back if you want to. That would look absolutely amazing standing on your mantelpiece, in your hallway, but also tucked into the tree with a little gift inside, maybe. It's just absolutely beautiful. Everything, again, you need to decorate that, put that together, make that construction work. If you've never done things like this before, definitely Simply Made Crafts is the brand to get started with. Now, we're not going to waste any time getting into demonstration. I'm going to just swap over and bring Helen in and let her sort her things whilst I read out a few of the comments. So can, Helen, by all means, come over and I'll get out of your way. I'll just, do you need these? Um, I'll need the drum and the slate. All right, I'll leave them there for you too. So we'll keep an eye on Helen's desk while she's just getting sorted for demonstration. But, so we've got Anne Tup from New Zealand. Hello, Anne. We've got Rose O'Connell is coming all the way from Australia, from Queensland. I love that we have so many of you from um, overseas. I don't know what time it is for all of you, but thank you so much for joining us. It's lunchtime here. The weather's a little bit more wintry or autumnal now. A bit of wind and a bit of rain now. Um, I hope you're all okay. Yep, Sharon loves the sleigh. Pippa loves the sleigh as well. Jill Fletcher says the Nutcracker is her favourite. Um, uh, so Matilda has said that would be a beautiful way to wrap handmade candy to give away. It definitely would, wouldn't it? Um, Terry Kelly says hi to everybody. Thank you so much. So don't forget everybody, um, please tag your friends. Please be sharing um, this post with everybody as well to make sure they know you're watching and um, you and your friends could then be in with a chance of winning that share of £110 worth of Simply Made Crafts products. I will hand over to you Helen, thank you so much for being patient while I was rambling. Okay, so hello everyone, hope everyone's okay. So this is a bit different being on a Thursday, so I keep thinking that it's actually Friday, so I'm actually glad to actually be here. So we're going to be making the drum first. So the drum was the inspiration for this collection and uh, my original prototype was a little bit bigger than this but to fit it onto the die sheet we shrunk it down so we're going to be making that today so this is a very sizable die set we grab the first die out as you can see it's quite large so you're, you are going to be needing an A4 die cutting machine to cut this out and to make the top and the bottom so the lid and the base you're going to, you're going to need to cut two of those so I'm just going to pop that back in I'm just going to grab everything out I might as well 
because I'm going to be needing to use it. Okay, so I've got two of these main pieces already cut out. Let's bring those in. And I've added tape, so this is the red line tape, to the end tab on each piece. So there's 10 sides to this drum. And assembling the base and the lid is exactly the same, except the lid, you can either have an aperture in the top that will create the open drum. So we'd be using the larger of the two dies. So we do have a nesting die set there. Or if you wanted, um, where is the other drum? This one? Oh, there. <laughs> There's drums everywhere. <laughs> There's drums everywhere. Or if you wanted a drum with a lid that lifts off, you just make two of the bases, or even more choices. Even more. You can double up the sides of your drum to make a tall one. And I've got two lids here, so I've got the open drum at the bottom, and wow. that just flips on. I've just added just a little hinge there, just to add so that clever. on. So clever and so versatile as well. Okay, so let's make our drum now. So I'm just going to quickly grab the big shot. And again, get all of these lovely dies here, which I'll be going through in just a moment. I've just realised we don't have the large die cutting machine here. Do you need it? I do. Ah, OK. But it, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to just make one with the lid instead. Lo lovely. So okay. we, we yep, can we just do that. that. So, OK. So if you did want to make one with the hole in, just run that through with the die cutting machine and then assemble it as I'm about to assemble. So I'm just going to quickly take off all of these bits of tape. Now you can use glue, but it will take a little bit longer for it all to dry. I was going to say, you're using red line tape. Is that definitely what you would recommend if everyone's at home doing Definitely, it? yes. It's a lot stronger than the other um, sort of tape. So let's take that off. Is there is there any uh, trick to controlling the staticness of, of the red line tape? I don't know. It just wants to stick to you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I know um, my cat used to play with the longer pieces all the time. Yes, mine fishes them out of the bin, especially the extra long ones. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I think I've got everything down. Okay, so we have alternating uh, wings here. So we have plain ones without the side wings, and then we have the ones with the wings on this side. So we're going to fold in each section with the, the wings first. There we go. And then just fold everything around. Okay, you make it look so quick and easy. I suppose it is quick and easy once you know what how you're putting them together. It is, and especially with the tape as well, it's just press and fold and press and then it's down. Brilliant. There we go. So um while I'm putting this together, does anyone have any questions? Um so Certainly everyone uh, sends us your questions at the moment. Everyone just says how much they love everything. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> Matilda said she made apple pie to eat with this. I'm not quite sure whether she meant to what eat whilst watching the show. I think so. I think <laughs> I, I'd grab a hot chocolate and settle down, I oh, think. absolutely. We're going to be very traditionally Christmas today, this afternoon. Uh, Sue Pollock cannot think, um, she doesn't think she can pick a favourite of the dyes. She wants them all. Um, Louise Hornsby has said she loves the boxes, especially the sleigh. Um, the the drum is Michelle Capstick's favourite. A lot of people are saying, oh, the drum would be a grand centrepiece in the kitchen table. Oh, sorry, cr Christmas table, says Fiona. It would. Um, everyone's absolutely loving them. They really, really are. So, so we will see Helen, by the way. I know you see her hands. We'll <laughs> just see my hands at the moment, just like on my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, we will see her face since... She's so pretty, we can't let her go without seeing her. Um, yet so many people are saying hello to you as well. Um, Penny James said, Simply Made Crafts are some of my favourite sets. I love 3D makes. And do you know what? I think if you've never done a 3D make with cardstock and paper before, um, definitely Simply Made Crafts are absolutely some of the easiest sets to get to grips with um, for beginners. And yet you can decorate them so much, you'll look like an expert instantly. Exactly, and there's so many different ways that you can decorate these as well. Just, you know, it's basically, I'm just giving you the, the skeleton structural yeah. version of it. Mm -hmm. And you can just decorate it to your style or, or however you wish, because everyone's tastes are different. Absolutely. 
So I'm just finishing this one off now. So you then just tuck the alternate ones around yep, the other one. Going around doing the leftovers. Yep, they really are coming one. together so, so quickly. So what card, sort of cardstock are you using? I'm using 310 GSM, so something really nice and sturdy for this. Okay, so you can also use these as box frames as well. These are basically a oh, ten-sided wow. box frame. And we have all the dies here that will go inside it too. So we have this lovely intricate geometric design here and then a matching one for the sides. So whoop, oh, this beautiful. one might be able to see it better on this one. Yeah. So you get that. you get the mat dies here. There we go. So you can cut a mat out like I've done with this one. And then you run it through again with some gold cardstock with this diamond shaped one. Mm -hmm. You pop that in there and then you run that through the machine and you will get all of your mats and your overlays for that too. So for this lid, as we've had a little bit of a change of plan, we are going to run this through and then mat that on the top. Lovely. Okay. Sorry, Helen's travelled a long way to be with us today and as you can probably imagine, travelling particularly by train, with a large die cutting machine just isn't practical. Um, and it's one thing we forgot to get up in the studio, isn't it? It was, yes. <laughs> but never mind. We'll, we'll make do. Helen's a crafter. She can make do with anything, I'm sure. Um, let me see if I can find any questions. Yes, so Carol Lewis has said, 300 GSM weight for the card or heavier. So... Yeah, so you were saying, I heard you saying yesterday, so you would recommend, is it 280 and above? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You want really nice, sturdy projects. Mm -hmm. And they do, the sturdier they are, um, they will, you know, take the test of time a little better. Mm -hmm. Especially Lovely. if you want to bring these out year after year. Okay, so I have 10 of these, so I have eight here already. I've got them all stuck together, ready to go. And I've got my last two here, so let's get those on. Now, um, Fiona has said, where is the blue spotty paper from? But I'm looking and I can't see a blue spotty paper, so... I'm oh, yes, sure. that is on the drum here. Oh, OK. I yeah, that's, that that's just a, ge a generic um, piece of paper. We've actually have, got so. some beautiful papers to show you that are brand new, and I will run through those when Helen has done this first demonstration for you. Um, she's actually really lucky. She's got two demonstrations for us this hour. And whatever the time is, however long it takes, we'll let her get through them because I know I've cut you short before, Helen, and I certainly don't want to do that to you today. That's all right. We want to see the, everything put together. Okay, I'm just adding a bit more tape now just to the last one. And I am going to have to make a quick dash to my suitcase in a moment to <laughs> grab myself some mirror cardstock. So. I can get that for you. Well, I can try and get that for That's you. Right. It'll be under all of the it. boxes. Oh, okay. Of course <laughs> it will be. <laughs> Oh, yes, okay, so I'm just going to join this loop together now. Is that gold or silver? Uh, rose gold might look quite nice, actually. Is that a big enough piece? Um, I believe, yeah, it will be, yes. Yeah? Okay, so I've got my nice round now for the box. And if you get did manage to get hold of my Paper Craft Society box with the tiny nutcracker stamp on there, he will fit if you alternate each space, he will fit on each one as well. So if you can imagine, that would really complete oh, wow. the nutcracker look. Fantastic. So uh, so those tags, um, they could be used for so many things, couldn't they? The smaller tags that you've got. They can, so yes. I might have to get those dies out, actually, because we haven't got the examples here, have we? Oh, there's a little one here. Yeah, yes, I've got a little tiny one on the gift bag there. Okay, so I've just added glue now to on to on no, can't talk on all of the little tabs, <laughs> and just going to press that inside there. And there we go. And that is our box. Jill Fletcher said red and gold looks extremely luxurious. That has come together so quickly, and it looks like a top hat as well, like that. There we go. You've got a tassel on the top. Yeah, oh yes, <laughs> could do. <laughs> That'd be great for graduations or chefs as well if you did it yes. in white. It also reminds me of the uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa as well. Oh, it's got yeah. that sort of shape, Should hasn't it? Should we have a look at you from the front view, holding that? Because I think that's the, the way you're going to see that the best way. Let's have a look at that. Hi one. everyone. <laughs> she is here, really. <laughs> okay, so here is the box. 
Let's see if I can't get any. Absolutely oh, beautiful, isn't it? Let's turn it around. There we go. So I've just added a little bit of a ribbon to the front there. Gorgeous. And that makes a really nice plop noise. I love, I love that. <laughs> and I think that'd be really nice as well to pop some um, paper flowers in as yes. well if you left it as a vase, either the tall one or the short one. Okay, so the lid is already done. So that just pops on the top if you wanted a closed lid or just add the die to make the open topped one. And again, the cordage I've used, um, it's just down here, it's just from just from a roll there. You can get that from haberdasheries, uh, yeah. some making shops and upholstery sort of thing. And right, so let's move on to making, better put the, lap, put the lid on. Oh, I know that's. Yeah, I keep that's, forgetting about that. I'm the worst for that. Letting my <laughs> ink dry, especially whenever we're in the studio. There's lights on. It's very warm. It is warm in here today, isn't it? It very is. Warm. I can't imagine what it's going to be like in the summer. Oh, no. it's because <laughs> the heating's just come on two days ago, so um, it's still that time of year. I don't know if everyone's the same. Where you want your heating on, but when it's on, it's actually a bit too warm. A bit too so hot. In, yes. Yeah, in between. In between. Covers off. Covers on. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Just grabbing the big shot here so I can fit this through. So, um, Julie has asked, what is the name of your bag die that the nutcracker is on, please? And that must be the one, this one behind you. Yes, now that is um, the ornate gift bag. Beautiful. So you'd be able to search that on Craft Stash, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, it will. It's in stock at the moment, so you'll be able to find that. Fantastic. I think now I'm going to go for the larger one. Did I cut enough space? Let's see if I can. Mandy fit has that. said, I'm loving that tall drum. You could use that instead of Christmas crackers and fill it with gifts. You could, so it would be completely reusable as well. That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? So I just need to grab myself some tape. I'm here to help you if, you, if there's anything else you need or I can pass in to you. So you're, you do that, but you make that less sticky. Yes, because sometimes when you take it straight off the roll, it just takes <laughs> a layer of card stock off as well. Mm -hmm. But the mirror card tends to behave itself. It's usually okay, yeah. Usually okay. So. Uh, Rita has said magnetic lid and a question mark. So I don't know whether she's suggesting a ma magnetic lid might be fun or is she, she might be asking whether you've used one. I don't um, think you I have. I haven't one. tried it. You would probably have to try and get the the magnet inside before you roll it up and then remember where it is and then do exactly the same and then line it up on the other side. I think because you're snapping it, it does sound like it's already got one on there. Yeah. But it's quite sturdy, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's kind of like a nice trinket box mm. style. So. That's lovely. I think that, that might be the favourite at the minute as, um, as people are watching. So another thing you can actually do is you can trim down your panels as well to make a nice, really short trinket box. Of course, Nice yes. shallow dish. And that's quite simple, I suppose, isn't it? Just that one long panel with all the store lines in. Okay, just check that that's all gone through. I just, I'm just i mesmerised when I'm watching you craft. Um, but for anybody who is watching now, loving the demonstrations, where else can they see this collection demonstrated later on? Okay, so these will be on the Craft Stash YouTube channel and also on my own YouTube channel as well. Um, I'll be releasing all of those all in one go, probably either today or tomorrow. Okay, lovely. Depends so on when I get home. <laughs> she's been poor, poor Helen. She has been away for a few days now, so she's probably desperate to get home uh, and relax for a little while. Have a hot chocolate, I think. Oh, definitely. It's so that time of year. all I'm going to do now is just glue this on. And then I'm going to quickly show you just a little bit of the string section that we add around the drum. Oh, do you know what? I think that's what, for me, that's what really bring, makes it a vintage drum with that yes. string around the edge. So it's kind of like a little finishing touch. Yeah. Don't forget, I've got a beautiful um, Victorian Christmas paper pad to show you that's brand new. And I'll show you that in a moment. Keep an eye out for that and um, although Helen's obviously already prepared her demonstrations we're saying how well that would work with any of these designs as well. Okay so I'm just going to add string here so you can get really creative you can add it miss and skip one out or on the other one 
I've done it on every single one I've gone on the corner, if that makes sense. So there's mm -hmm. loads more strings there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just need to quickly die cut these little teardrops here. And those will cover up where the uh, the string oh, okay. touches. It's a nice neat finish. Oh, that that I didn't turn it on. <laughs> Never mind. Do you want to come back and do that bit later? Um, no, we can use glue. Okay. Glue will be okay. So I'm just going to do a couple just to show you. So um, somebody has said, let me just find the message again. Uh, Terry has said the box would be nice to store craft bits in, like ribbon and twine. Exactly. Yes, even using it as a pen, a pen pot, it's really nice and sturdy because it's got that base that sticks out. Yeah, definitely. That would look fantastic on a craft desk, especially if you had a few of them all lined up, different colours. You could, like Helen said, you could do different sizes as well. Um, different heights. Okay, so I'm just going to add this string here and then we're going to go back down again to that point there because we have the lid, that's not going to stick, but that lid there is going to slide on right. and off. So if you have one that doesn't move, you can pop it straight onto the top section here. Yeah. But if the lid comes on and off, you can just pop it down a little bit lower and it will be fine just like that. That's fantastic. So that's how you put that um, drum together. That is just so, so simple. Um, and obviously how you decorate it is entirely up to you. Um, you can go with whatever colours you want, whether you are actually making a traditional Christmas drum kit or whether you want to make it as, like we said, a pen pot, a uh, vase of flowers, a container for chocolates, whatever it may be. So um, if I come in and I want to show you, I really want to show you this new paper kit that we've got so I'll just let Helen finish up because she's got to get ready just for her next demonstration don't forget everybody commenting is in with a chance of winning um, a selection of these products there's going to be three winners from um, today so that's three winners all winning a bundle of brand new Simply Made Craft Toy Box collection we then also have the paper pads that I'm going to show you in a moment um, and if you are ordering today on Craft Stash from the Toy Box collection there's a little pop-up at checkout. Look out for that because that is a promotional pop-up that may, means you're going to be able to then um, pop into your basket a completely free set of stamps. So uh, make sure you don't miss out on those. So I am back with you now and I have these amazing paper pads to quickly show you while Helen just has a breather because she's been doing a lot of talking. Um, so we've got the Victorian Christmas. So we have got here our 8x8 and our 12x12. Let's come down to the desk and let's have a look at these because I think you're going to see how well these really will work with, um, with all of the products that we've got here today from Simply Made Crafts. I'll just move this drum kit to the side for a moment. And I think I'll show you the 12 by 12 first of all, because this is absolutely beautiful. So this is only available on Craft Stash, okay? You're not going to find this anywhere else, and we're just launching it right now. Have a look at these toppers. They are so, so pretty. You get multiples of each, so I will just skip through so you can see all of the toppers, all of the different designs as well. Beautiful winter colours there. Really gorgeous ribbon stri strips, pieces of lace. There's flourishes in there. There's all of your traditional images and colours. And then to the papers. How stunning are these? 210 GSM for each of these. So you could be creating boxes from these, gift bags from these as well if you wanted to. Or you could easily be using them for your, oh look at that, for your matting and layering as well, for your cards, if that's what you like to make too. I love with the 12 by 12, I'm sure Helen will agree, it's much easier to then be creating uh, construction pieces from them because you've got the larger sheets to work from um, and you've got this beautiful vintage, uh, it's almost like an old wallpaper, isn't it? That one there with a the gorgeous pattern in. So that's your 12 by 12. And then the eight by eight is very similar. They do match perfectly together. You've got the same papers, but in a smaller scale. So you can work with them. If you love your card making, this would be absolutely perfect. And as, as I said, I think you'll agree, they are going to work so, so well with the Toy Box collection. I know certainly if Helen had more time, she'd have been using these. We've been talking about this a lot. So that is your Victorian Christmas. 
Um, please make sure everybody that you are um, sharing, you are tagging, you are commenting. Um, we've got people from Craft World and we've got people from Facebook. If you are just joining us and you've missed anything, we've already seen one demonstration from Helen. We'll see another one in a moment. But please make sure you catch up by subscribing to our Craft Stash YouTube channel. Don't miss out on that. I'm going to just now move to the side and let Helen come back in so she can get straight back on. With, are you ready, Helen? Are you okay? Just about. I just need to grab my stuff. Okay, so, so I'm going to move to the side <laughs> tell you what let's bring these in there we go have a little look at some of these whilst Helen's doing her thing <laughs> so these are just some of the products that you can be making with the brand new collection toy box collection from simply made crafts today okay now I think Helen is going to be making for us that sleigh that you can see in the red green and gold there I absolutely adore this and I think actually looking at um, some of the comments this seems to be the most popular one for for the day or for the launch at the moment so i mean who doesn't love a sleigh i'd love a sleigh ride in the snow oh that would be really nice i've never had a one in the snow no, before you saw I, them in new york and yes i did see them in new york actually and i always think of uh, the lion the witch in the wardrobe yes and the sleigh oh that would be amazing one day we'll go we'll go to i don't know iceland or somewhere <laughs> i don't know where they do sleigh rides <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be making this sleigh today, and again, this has the secret drawer underneath. So you can pop a gift card in there and some flat chocolates. Those will fit in there really nicely. So when I designed this sleigh, I really wanted something to be really different to um, everyone else, basically. So I've added my own little touch, which is adding something secret or some interactive part yeah. to my um, project. So it now has the secret drawer in there. I love that. I absolutely love that you can hide, uh, like say it's perfect for a gift card in there. I think I heard you saying that will fit a gift card in yes, there. Yes, it will. Um, for myself and my family at Christmas, what we often do, we don't have Christmas crackers. We often buy like a little lot lottery ticket or scratch card or something and we pop them on the table. So that would be perfect to go in there as well. Okay, so I've got everything cut out here. This will go through, um, most of the pieces will go through a standard big shot. Um, it's just this one here is literally the length of a um, the small big shot but you can run it through twice and turn it round and run it through to get both sides or if um, you could turn it diagonally that will run through perfectly as well so I just need to die cut just a couple more pieces so I have the bottom of the sleigh there and uh, where, where did I put the die set? <laughs> here, there we go so the great thing about this set is it has all of the mirrors so you get two of each so let me just show you um, yeah, I do have two pieces here this is just an example it's going to cut the left and the right and it's going to be the same for the mats and it's going to be the same for the swell so you get a set of each side so we're going to cut out the drawer and we're going to cut out the drawer base mm -hmm. So let's run that through. So um, am I right thinking you've got some descriptions on the back of the packaging as well? Yes, there are instructions on the back of the packaging, but again, there's going to be um, tutorials for everything here. So Helen is really good at creating um, video tutorial for us that ex fully explain everything. Um, you'll be able to see them, as she said, on the Craft Stash YouTube channel, but also on her own YouTube channel as well. So um, she, Helen did say, I wouldn't say she, Helen did say she would be uploading those over the next few days. So you don't have long to wait. Yeah. So once you've ordered these from Craft Stash, once they're on their way to you, they'll be with you within a few days and then you can start watching for that inspiration. Yeah, so as I said, the videos are ready to go. I just need to update the thumbnails and then there we go and then publish so so they, actually if you're waiting ready. for them you can be sitting and watching and getting inspiration for what your first make will be okay so let's put this away again so i have i see with every one of these dies i can see elements that i could use away from the construction side of things and on flat greeting cards as well exactly there, there's so many different ways that you could um, use this so i'm just going to pop all of these out mm -hmm. So this bit presumably become, becomes clear what that bit is later. I love the blue and silver you've used. Yeah, I've tried to choo choose a few different colourways here. So we've got the traditional and we've got the purple one um, in the background as well. So we've got lots of different colours. 
colours here because I know everyone's different when they decorate. Yes. Some, some people have a different colour every single year. Some people stick to the same colour. So I just realised, I mean, we're talking about gifting and tableware and um, things like that, but you're just decorating the house. Um, having all of these elements around your house would be fantastic. Um, Pippa said, she just simply said, I would make so many little sleighs and yeah. <laughs> have them everywhere. <laughs> I think I'd put um, little lights in them or something and have yes. them almost as sleigh bunting. That would look somewhere. really nice. Oh, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't they? Little okay. tea bags. So I've made a really sturdy side here. So I've got four layers glued together and I have three here and one I'm going to glue on there. So if you do have a large format machine, just run two of the dies through and then run them through again on a double piece of A4 cardstock. So you only have to run it through twice mm -hmm. and that will do all of your layers for you. Beautiful. So um, you have the reflection die, don't you? So you have one for each side? Yes. Yeah lovely i think i thought i saw you had both sides there so you don't have to flip pieces of cardstock over or anything like that so what glue are you using there i'm using cosmic shimmer lovely is that what your favorite for it is it's layering? a it's a nice wet glue it um it sticks really well after it's dried and it does kind of take really fast so you're not there holding your project for ages brilliant we want to get to the decorating stage don't exactly. we exactly we <laughs> Okay, so that's a really nice sturdy piece of card there. And we do have another little die, if you were to make one layer, just to add that on the bottom between the two skis. So I'd add two of those, and that will cook, uh, create a bit of um, sturdity okay. for it. So does that almost act like an axle or, um, I can't think of the word. It's yeah. kind of like a support, a support. <laughs> support, support bar, I'd say. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my scissors now. So what I've done here, to create the silver bit for the ski, I've run the die for this through just covering the ski because I'm going to be cutting the rest away. So you only need to cut out the bits you need. And then I'm going to glue that over the ski part. So Tracy Martindale has just rushed home um, to see it made just in time. Ah. So uh, Tracy did miss the first demonstration, but you can catch up um, on Craft World. You can catch up on YouTube as well if you're um, subscribed to the YouTube channel, and if not, why not? We have so much over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that over. And again, you get the mat and the trellis to create that. And one for either side, as you can see, they're mirrored, so you get one of each. Perfect, lovely. So they're so, glue. so pretty as well, aren't they? They are. And then we also have some bells as well, a string of bells that you can add to this as well oh they'd be fun in fact i can imagine even adding real little metal bells oh, to yes it. they'd be brilliant wouldn't they a little jingle every time it moves i could sit these i think this sleigh is a, a decent enough size to sit actually in nestle into your christmas tree it probably it would yeah there. it would i like to put hidden treats in my christmas tree and let the children find them over the over, over the christmas. course of december <laughs> there's another one yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the bottom of the sleigh. So this is going to be the holder that will hold the drawer. So uh, fold all those score lines too. And this will be the first piece that we put on. So this section here goes at the front. And then when we add this on, you do need to leave a little bit of a gap here, okay. but make sure that the, t the, the front and the back kind of don't come off the edge, right. if that makes sense. Yeah. I love that um, sort of scroll work you have at the front. It's so intricate and so pretty. I'm gonna cover that in a moment with the silver. Gorgeous. So I've die cut another one just here, and I'll cut that part and then add that on. Terry says she's like that with her husband. Is that the nestling things in the tree and letting him find it? I'm not sure what else I've said. <laughs> <laughs> possibly, quite possibly. But actually, my husband is terrible with chocolate in the house, so I actually do have to hide it all year round. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add the next one now to the other side. And this is where we have to test that our sleigh isn't wonky, that we put it on <laughs> so it stands up straight. 
it will want to wobble and wonk and be wonky at this stage but I just want to make sure that my drawer is level that looks okay and then we can press both of those down and that glue is just taking really quickly isn't it it That's is brilliant. it looks so neat and because ever you've done all the measuring and you've done all the working out yes. for it um, it really is a case of cut and stick for everybody so I'm just going to add glue just along these sections here you can use double sided tape but if you did use glue you would have a little bit more time mm -hmm. so this end here and this end here has to line up with um, the front and the back of okay. this panel here so I'm lining it right up and joining it onto straight onto the panel where it's joined on so like that little tab that we stuck okay. and then the back should line up perfectly with the back here and then the same oh, so it's so easy for the front. you can see where that piece goes quite easily can't you oh you should have said the sleigh looks like an ice skate and that is so true it, can, yes. it, it could be either an ice skate or if you take the the skate element off it could look like little elf boots as well exactly so maybe elf skates oh yes <laughs> okay so i'm gonna add some glue just to this this long section here so you can clearly see that that's sh the shape that that long panel needs to create to hold the sides together just think of all the things all the treats and gifts that you could be popping inside of these or even just a bundle of fairy lights for a piece of home decor yes it'll make really nice home decor as well mm. If you've got some fake snow, you know, if you've got um, the Paper Craft Society box from Claire Rowland's Daisy May one uh, that had fake snow in it, that would look beautiful on these. Okay, we're almost there. So we just need to glue the next section down for the front. And there we have most so our quick sleigh quick. mostly done. So we have the little gap here for the drawer. So here's the little drawer, it's absolutely tiny because I wanted to have maximum room mm -hmm. in there as well. But I love that you've even thought of adding a drawer in. It's just so different to anything else you'll find on the market. Exactly, I just wanted something really different. Yes, and you've definitely done that. Definitely unique. So it's not long now. Helen's um, just finishing up this demonstration and then I have the lovely job of announcing some winners. Um, so you've got a couple more minutes to get your name in the hat. So simply by commenting, make sure your friends know this is here. Um, make sure you're subscribed over to YouTube as well. You don't have to do that to be able to win, but um, it's definitely worth doing because if you ever do miss one of these lives, you can either go over to Craft World to catch the videos later on or you can go to youtube as well so um we do we are adding more and more lives in actually we'll always have our friday at one o'clock so today's thursday at one o'clock as well um i have my what's hot on a tuesday and then we have lots of different master classes from your celebrity crafters like john next door um the frugal crafter we've got lots and lots planned coming up so make sure you're not missing out on anything okay so i've got this little tab here there is another one that's completely filled in so it's up to you which one that you would like to add. So I'm just gonna go for the hollow one here. That's a little glued onto there. So uh, wait for that to dry completely before you pull on it. And that just slides. Perfect, it just fits there. perfectly, doesn't it? It does, nice and snug. So where are my scissors here they are. So this is the same section here where I've just die cut it again, but I've just die cut the top section. So I'm going to cut that off right at the the, sc the first score line. Debbie's now buying. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got little celebratory um, emojis on her comments. Um, yeah, Fiona loves the drawer as well. It just they're just so fun, aren't they? And we would love to stay here with you all afternoon so Helen could show you the Nutcracker and the train as well and the stocking. But obviously we only have an hour. But do keep an eye on the YouTube channels for those coming up very soon. Okay, so some of my glue is coming apart, so I'm going to add a bit more glue here. There we go. We are asking a lot of Helen to put these together very quickly, um, without any mistakes, which we'd all want to be making. <laughs> <laughs> so I tend to leave my mistakes in my videos anyway, because oh, I, like, yes. I like to fix them and Absolutely. then show everyone how to, how to fix your mistakes, because really you can't make anything perfectly. 
No, no, there's no such thing as a perfect crafter. It's not much fun anyway, is it? Perfect crafting. Okay, so that is. Okay, <coughs> pop all your treats in there. You can get some oh, uh, candy canes in there too. So in the set, you also get this string of bells and those are mirrored as well one for each side so really you can get really creative with this die set fantastic so i'm just going to run through those project products let me just i'll let you just say goodbye to everybody before i come in i'll just try and find that there for you flop over so you can say goodbye to everybody right, i'm sorry we haven't seen your face very much that's today, all right it's all about the demos isn't it absolutely <laughs> Thank you very much. You can almost go home in a minute. I'll let I you can. go. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll um I'll come in and I'll show everybody some of the products now instead. Bye everyone. Great. I'll just try and find just try and change look trying to change it. It's there, isn't it? There we go. Do this button thing, this whole camera thing from a distance is never easy. So I am going to be showing you these new papers. Just let Helen um take take a seat, have a drink. <laughs> so look at these these are absolutely gorgeous i've got some winners for you in a moment but i just want to run you through these those who have just joined us these are beautiful new victorian christmas papers um from craft stash they are amazing we've got the most beautiful backing papers here 210 gsm you've got 24 in each pad they are gorgeous and not only that you have toppers as well that you can cut out proper vintage Christmas there both pads there are available now we've got the 8x8 and we've also got the um, 12x12 too now there is lots of, lots more at Craft Stash at the moment so now we, you can be pre-ordering I'll come back to me now because we've seen we've seen seen everything on the desk you can be pre-ordering two brand new magazines so Papercraft Essentials issue 191 is now out to pre-order as is Creative Stamping issue 88. They are both there. Uh, we have reveals of both of those now on things like the YouTube channel, so you'll be able to catch those and see what's inside of those, what little gifts you're getting as well, because I know that's all important. Um, so make sure you're pre-ordering those because they do sell out very, very quickly. Obviously today we've been looking at the brand new collection from Simply Made Crafts. Um, we've got an amazing deal on that. Not only are we giving away over £110 worth of product, but we also have a free stamp set available to you. When you're ordering, the majority of the products, when you put them in your checkout, um, you'll get a little pop-up box come up. Okay, And it will say that there's a promotional offer. Do you want to add it? So yes, add that and you'll get a completely free stamp set. Um, I'm not sure where the stamp set's gone because we've been spreading around, but it's a stamp set that comes specifically with this collection, so it is brand new, and it's filled with Christmas sentiments, so make sure you don't miss out on that worth $7.99. We also have a Tonic Studios die set for you. That is our deal of the day. That has been running across the bottom of the screen. Um, check that out. That's a, that autumnal frame die set is absolutely beautiful. It's now down to $13.49. It's time for me to finally announce some winners, okay? So I have them here, are you ready? So earlier in the week, we uh, every week we do a Facebook post with a competition and you simply need to comment to win. So this is to win a selection of the brand new toy box dies um, and the winner for that is Janet McGrath. So congratulations, Janet, that is you. We will either be in touch or if you want to, you can message us um, via Facebook and we'll get that prize sent out to you. Then we have three of you who are hopefully still watching because this is from today's live. So we have from Facebook, we have Leslie Rayburn, congratulations. We also have Fiona Sissons, hello, congratulations as well. I was reading some of your comments. And then over on Craft World, um, we have, it's a, it's a handle, so it's an at Benita. Congratulations to the three of you. You're going to be sharing a selection of these products. They'll come out to you very, very soon, as soon as we get your address details. So thank you again to Helen for joining us. We've loved your demonstrations. Um, she's now got to get back on her own train, probably probably not looking like this, the train, but she'll get back on her own train with all of these in her suitcases um, and go home and rest for a few days now because she's had a busy, busy few days. But I can imagine she's gonna be eating some of this chocolate while she's doing so. Um, please join me tomorrow. I've got another Craft World Live, which is really exciting. I've actually got Sizzix and we've got some um, demonstrations from Josh as well, which are going to be brilliant. So make sure you join me for that. That is going to be at one o'clock tomorrow, the usual Friday live time. So I will see you then. Thank you so much for joining everybody. Take care. I'll see you soon.